Hi, how would you like to organize your thoughts using a mind map, which is a very creative and intuitive tool you might enjoy using. And I can show you a free website where you can create these diagrams. But first, what is a mind map? I've got two websites I'll show you real quickly before we get into the mind map, and I'll have the links for these down below. This lady, uh, Daphne Greg Grant, I think is her name, she said that she was forced to do outlines when in school, and that forces your brain to be linear and very logical. So if you're a left brain person, maybe outlines work well, but if you're a right brain person and your thoughts kind of go all over the place, a mind map might fit you better. She says here, outlines mute rather than enhance the urge to tell a story. Outlines turn writing into a duty rather than someone else's fun, and outlines organize. And she'd rather be inspired than organized. Outlines lead to dull, stale writing. So she's specifically about talking about doing a writing, like writing a research paper or something based on an outline. So she recommends mind mapping. Then over on Quora, there was a question as to what advantages do mind maps have over linear list? And basically they talk about methods here and that again, uh, outline kind of forces you into a linear method and mind maps kind of let you go all over the place and they're more creative. They're perhaps easier for your brain to remember. And anyway, you can read through this list later. Let's get into creating our first mind map. So we're gonna skip the video here. There's a, on the coggle.it site, there's about a one minute, five second video you can watch. And you can sign up uh, with an account here for free. And you can also log in with your Google account. And here's an example, I'm gonna shrink out my screen. I know it's gonna to be too small to read, but a mind map, a very big one, looks kinda of like this. And think of it as a tree with a trunk in the middle and then you have branches going out in every which direction and then the branches have branches and eventually maybe the branches have leaves on the end. And you keep expanding it out until you've totally, let's call it exploded one branch of that tree. And there, is, there are some pricing options here, but basically, I've always found that I could do everything I need to do with the free version, but you can read about what's available for the $5, $8 a month versions here. So I've already logged on here on another screen and I've got some past diagrams, but I wanna create a new one for you. So let's say create diagram. And we don't need all those little tips right there. So right here, see when I clicked on it, it creates a couple of different links out. So let me uh, expand this so you can see. Got my cursor out of there. So there's the SEO book. And the first thing you usually talk about in an SEO book is that you have on page and off page. Okay, let's hide all these dumb little tips. We don't need them. Now what's cool is you can actually drag these things around. Like you could put this over here. And it kind of just kind of reshapes to what it, think it thinks is the way you want it, which is kind of cool. And now it says here, click to edit. So I'm going to click on that one. Whoops, I actually added a new one. So let's do control Z there. We're not ready for that. Well, okay, I went too far. So now I'm going to have to delete that one. So we're not ready to add a new, new node yet. So here it says click to edit. Okay, every time you click the plus sign, you're gonna get a new branch there, see? And now on the tip of each branch, you can put in words. But I didn't get my word on this one, so I'm trying to click to edit it. There it goes. So you have to click in the exact right place, and this is off-page SEO. And then over here, let's say we go back to on-page. Now I add some links, and so these might be chapters or sub-chapters of my book, see? So now I wanna click to edit one of those, and let's call this uh, internal linking and let's call this menu structure and so on and then over here on this other side when you have off page SEO you have uh, backlinks from other sites you might have your social media links and you might have something to do with your RSS feed. I'm just kind of making up something real quick. And then, then you can make each one of those go deeper. So now you click on backlinks 
and add a couple of branches there and say, well, there's links from Wikipedia. That might be very powerful to help you with your SEO on your website. You might have links from uh, news sites or news press releases. Let's call it news releases, press releases. And then you might have links from citations. And by the way, I do SEO work, so uh, IrvingSEOExpert.com. Learn more about that. And so basically this is how your tree branches out and you can keep uh, defining all of these little things. So social media, you might want to add on there like Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, you know, whatever your favorite social medias are. Facebook, Google Plus, and so on, so on, so on. So that's a very quick example of a mind map done with Coggle. And one more thing, you can uh, click on one of the lines like this and this little color wheel will pop up and then you can then change the color of that line to something different like, oh, now they want more money for that too. Well, last time I used it, that was free. So now it looks like they're, they're starting to get pickier about the colors. So let's try here. So it looks like you can pick the inner wheel of the colors for free. But if you pick the outer wheel of the colors, they have that little uh, symbol on top of it. It's like a not available symbol. You can't pick those. You can only pick these kind of a, what do you call it, uh, the palette of colors that are in the inside wheel. But usually the colors are, are not that important. So the final thing I'll show you is back here where we started, you can always hit the plus sign here and add more branches. So you can have parts of the tree coming out from every which direction here. And I don't think there's a limit. I think you can always add another one. So there may, yeah, there's always a plus sign there. So you can always have new branches to your tree here. So you can kind of go crazy with that. And by the way, when you click on this, Put the cursor just in the right place here. You'll get those little uh, symbols. And you can do bold and italics, or you can have a web link. So here we could have like, so here, for instance, I'm going to put HTTP meals and videos. And that's a video that will go over to my YouTube site. So I'm going to say here, YouTube for Neil. And, and then I'm going to just close that. Problem is I got the parentheses off the end there. So when you have the parentheses and the brackets just right, you end up with a link like this. And you can see then it's like a hyperlink. So when you come up here, it'll actually then jump over to that website and open my YouTube page, which is kind of cool. And one more thing to show you is right here, when you're on these little plus symbols, like I showed you before, if you click a plus, it, it just adds a new line. But if you right click on that little plus sign, you get this interesting little pop-up menu, which gives you the ability to auto arrange, auto arrange, to zoom, to delete a branch, to copy a branch, to drag and transport a transplant a branch, and so on. Okay, so for example, you wanna take this whole branch and move it, you can right click here, and this little icon says drag to transplant the branch. And now you can actually drag it and throw it on another guy down here. It does keep the same colors that it had before. So there's all kinds of things you can do with Coggle. It is a mind mapping tool. There's another mind mapping tool I'd like to mention. In one of my earlier videos, I did a video on draw.io. Let me just show you real quick. If you go to draw.io and you're already connected up to everything, you say create a new diagram, and then they have templates in here. And there are maybe 50 or 60 different types of templates and under mind maps, you have three different templates. And then here are three different examples. You have two that are black and white and one that's in color. The black and white one on the left here looks a lot more like Coggle with kind of the wavy lines. And then this one looks more like a spokes of a wheel. So just for example, you click that one or double click it. So you can see that created this full diagram and it already has all the words in place for you and it also has a certain number of squares. So it already kind of gives you a half completed diagram and then it's up to you to come in here and change the words and to delete the ones you don't want. So again, we would do the same thing here. We do SEO book 
we could go down here and change this to on page and off page and we could do the exact same thing so it's another tool so I already tied it to my Google Drive but if you wanted to you could also save it to your hard drive on your own disk which is one of the things I like about draw.io it's also a free tool so check out coggle.it and draw.io and I hope this video has been useful I've done a previous video on Draw.io as well as Canva and many other tools like Trello and WordPress and Tumblr, et cetera, et cetera. So check out my video page and hopefully some of those other videos will be very useful to you as well. I'll see you on the next video.